Most resellers suck at selling used clothes online. In today's video, I'm gonna break down several of those reasons why and how you can do better. More than anything, people seem to complain about selling clothes online. More than any other category, it seems like clothing is like the bane of most people's existence. It doesn't have to be though. It's simple once you kind of understand a few key elements. Issue number one, what I see across the board is you guys ask too much money for used clothing. For some reason, people assume that used clothing like holds so much value when it doesn't. Sure, some items can be worth more than the retail cost, like say a pair of Yeezy shoes, you pay 200 retail, they can sell for $1,000. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about bread and butter items that you guys are trying to get a premium for. You need to be realistic because if someone could just go down to the mall, go to American Eagle or go to J. Crew on a half off day and get those same pair of jeans for 20 bucks, why would they buy them used on eBay for twice the price? Shoppers on eBay only care about two things, getting a good item for a great price. Everything else is irrelevant. I don't care what any other eBay seller tells you about optimizing your listings and making everything perfect, having perfect pictures. No one cares about that stuff. They want a good price and they want a good item. That's it. Second reason you're having issues, you're buying junk. Going back to the American Eagle jeans example. So many women have told me, oh, American Eagle sells really, really, really well for me. That's great, but what does really, really well mean? If you're paying $8 for a pair of jeans and you're flipping them for $19, is that really a great sale? I don't think so. You need to learn your brands and what sells in every single brand. Just because something is North Face or Patagonia doesn't mean it's worth so much money, like people assume. Branding means a lot, but it's not everything. Take for example, Levi. They're known for jeans and they're known for jackets. They're not known for all of this other modern stuff they've made like shoes and t-shirts and stuff you find at Ross. That stuff is garbage. You cannot give it away, but you can sell a pair of vintage Levi jeans for $10,000 if you find the right one. So that's the thing. It's learning what every brand has to offer and what people are actually seeking in those brands. That is how you make the most amount of money. Reason three, stop buying damaged items. People don't want things with stains and holes and rips and tears and smoke smells. People don't want that stuff. Sure, you can still sell those items as damaged. You're gonna get way less money for them, but is it really worth your time? Is it worth the customer's time? Most of the time it's not. Going back to the vintage example, maybe a pair of beat up Carhartt pants that are covered in paint or like a distressed Levi's jacket, that's different. Those can actually bring a premium from being distressed, which is crazy, but it's true. Take your basic pair of American Eagle jeans and they're covered in stains. No one's gonna buy them. You're gonna sit on them and you're gonna sell them for $6 three years from now. So don't waste your time. Buy stuff in good condition. Four, your listings suck. I am the laziest reseller in the world. I do not work that hard on my listings. I try to get a eBay listing done in under a minute and a half, but my listings are still better than 99% of sellers that I see. Like when I'm shopping for myself and I go onto a listing and I look at the description and all it says like this item is shipped with priority mail and that's literally all the description says, I 99% of the time don't buy that item because I do like to see the measurements. I do like to know if there's any damage. If you're posting just photos and you're not including a single word about the item, whether it just says in good use shape or maybe it has a mark, blah, 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 you need to include that stuff and you need to include measurements. Guys, people look at those. They ask for them all the time, so include them. You don't need to go crazy and measure the whole garment, just two basic measurements. For pants, it's waist flat and the inseam. And then for tops, all you need is the pit to pit and then the length and the bottoms. Now people may message you and ask for other measurements, but 99% of the time, those measurements are enough for most people. The worst thing that can happen is someone clicks on your listing and they don't see measurements, so they go to another seller that did include measurements, you just lost the sale, or they have to message you to get measurements, and in that time of you replying back to them, they found another item, so again, you lost the sale. Include the measurements, be good to go, and you'll be happy. And reason five, your pictures probably suck. I don't try that hard, again, for pictures. I'm very lazy, but I at least try to put everything on a white wall have a decent light and kind of just show the whole item. 
A lot of you guys are shooting on your kitchen floor. It's dark, it's grimy, the item's all messed up. You can't tell anything about it. Remember, pictures do sell your items. On an eBay listing, there's only several things that the buyer is actually looking at. They're looking at the pictures, the price, the shipping time, and the description. Those four things are probably the most important thing for buyers. The first thing that they see is the picture. It's the first thing they see when they're scrolling through eBay listings. That's the first thing that pops up when they actually go into your ad. So try a little bit. There's apps that you can use to cut out the backgrounds if you don't have a white background to shoot on. There's ways that you can set up a home studio in your house. I have videos about that but it's really not that difficult guys. I'm using a corner of my house, so I'm bouncing the light off the walls and I'm just using one singular light setup. You don't have to go crazy, but at least try just a little bit. Guys, I want you to sell more clothes. I want you to make more money. If this video was helpful, smash that like button. If you wanna learn more about clothing, there's a reseller course in the description below. And until next time, cheers.